And the saying goes, new year, new me. But how about new laws? Yeah, 2024 means new laws on both sides of the state line. And so KSHB 41 News reporter Elise Schoenig joins us live in studio now to tell us what is coming in Kansas. Elise, good morning. Hey Deja, good morning. The sales tax on groceries in Kansas will continue to fall this year. So families in Kansas will have free range also when it comes to choosing their children's school district. So we'll start with groceries. That sales tax is going to fall from 4% to 2%. The end goal is for it to be 0% in January of 2025. I go grocery shopping about once a week. I try to go every weekend. I definitely have to be really careful about like budgeting. And then there's House Bill 2552, which mandates what's called open enrollment for this coming school year. That's going to allow students to transfer or attend any district in the state. But I feel like when you have pride and it's your community and it's the, where you live every day and you have to pass by that school and you, you, you take more interest into it. It's more of a I, it's an ownership thing. This is my neighborhood school. Okay, so you heard there with open enrollment, there's some mixed reactions from parents really on how that one's going to pan out. Absolutely. Definitely expecting right. those mixed reactions, a huge change that could be coming, but we're getting into that with the specifics, some of these specific concerns and what were they that parents had? Yeah, so a big one obviously is going to be diversity. Parents, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the parents that we spoke to are saying that they're um, afraid that what if that makes my kid's school less diverse? Of course, parents say, um, you know, they want their kids to look like others at schools, but what about having kids who look like someone different right. or everyone at school. Another right. one is just logistics to sports, curriculum items. One parent even mentioned that's going to mess up my carpool. Oh. Um, so, you know, just True. anything big to small, uh, lots to be expected uh, with this change in the new year. Absolutely. A bigger discussion to be had. Right. Elise, thank you so much for thank that. You. All right, guys. Well, there are some changes in Missouri as well. In fact, minimum wage for all private and non-exempt businesses will be going from $12 per hour to $12.30 per hour. Senate Bill 190 lowers the amount of income tax that Missourians have to pay on Social Security benefits. And Senate Bill 94 allows taxpayers to claim a 30% tax credit for rehearsal expenses and tour expenses. Now, these are just some of the changes. If you'd like to find more, just head to our website. KSHB.com.